right guys well i tell you what these last few episodes things have really accelerated yeah i know last episode we tamed up our first alpha it was a dodo a parasaur nothing too flashy but today we're gonna go and tame an elemental hopefully a very strong one i got my heart set on a volcanic spino i have my I, i'm open i'm all ears to anything else that wants to present itself that might be like super strong and powerful and enticing but the best part is i think we've got everything ready to go to make this happen i should probably add a little asterisk as i always do that there is a chance maybe i don't have everything ready but it's about time for me to show you what i've been working on once again guys before we go any further if you do enjoy the video please go ahead and punch that thumbs up we can rain those thumbs ups now let me unveil to you my re reappointed my re what's the word i'm looking for recycled uh, my little garden shed over here it is more than just a shed now it's a little it's a garden remove the shed just the garden now uh that's right we got a little vegetable farm cooking up over here this is where i have been growing veggies veggies that we can finally um start <laughs> making kibble out of we've got a little garden station over here as well which is pretty sweet um and yeah it's cool i kind of just replaced the roof with some greenhouse tiles that way uh you know everything can get its little greenhouse buff which isn't perfect by the way it's not 300 percent um but it's better than nothing it means our crops are growing a lot faster than they usually would and uh yeah i think it's pretty sweet i'm just glad we finally got to utilize this for something else other than our old base our old house whatever because obviously we've got our big new house to my left over here and this thing is just majestic and there's no point in having a tiny little nothing house next to this big monstrosity over here that barely has anything inside of it by the way uh but maybe once we get some bigger dinosaurs we can house them in here or something uh on top of that we've got a i guess i kind of started just rearranging stuff a little bit uh i'm gonna have a lot of my workbenches down the middle and then maybe like to the sides as well if i need to um but yeah i'm just kind of working out what we need i got some food cooking over here because i realized i didn't have any meat for kibble um and we can just get like tons of that which is awesome i cooked up all of our prime we probably still got some regular meat um as for the other meats i ain't got nothing i, I, I haven't been killing fish so we've got nothing there um but also got a bunch more alpha dodos uh yeah i just went on a quick little tame and spree and we ended up with like six of them uh which has of course led to us having a good stash of alpha eggs fantastic let's grab those alpha eggs oh and by the way hatchery got a hatchery too hey look at this little thing this is from the d plus hatchery mod uh except i believe it's called the hatchy mod not the hatchery mod it's confusing there's a spelling error in the name in the title of the uh the thing and this thing here basically just uh increases the rate like egg laying rates of your teams so hence why i built it uh now let's have a look at exactly how much kibble we can craft up because that is the big question on all of our minds uh we want some ele oh hold on a second i wonder if i can get some better trinks we're gonna have a look at that in just a second but this is what we want elemental kibble alpha blood citronel fiber rock carrots cooked prime meat medjos sava roots and alpha eggs at most we're gonna get 12 and we have enough for 12 that's great <laughs> that's fantastic also get some backup alpha kibble over here just in case we need that uh 12 should be enough to get something pretty sweet the thing is i don't even know what's out there and that's kind of like going to be the exciting thing here. We know we've got spinos. We can obviously tame hydro turtles. Uh, like they're kind of like water turtles. I think we will actually need some to make it to the next tier. I actually haven't looked at this next tier just yet. But I think shadow requires hydro eggs and, and electric eggs and volcanic eggs. So they're your three elements. And then you get mythic, which needs shadow eggs. Um, but yeah, we're nowhere near ready to approach the shadow tier just yet but well, we got those 12 kibble uh but yeah like i just said probably look into seeing what we can do here we're out of mythic narcotics so i gotta craft some of those can i get any i don't think i've killed any elemental dinosaurs yet so i don't think we're going to be able to get this elemental blood i got no elemental blood otherwise we could but we don't have any maybe i should go target like a a volcanic raptor or something uh but what am i short on getting wait what do these need Oh, it's the dart that I'm... Yeah, sorry. Uh, what am I short on? Can I get some of these? We can. Okay. Got to get some ingots, which we are... I got to craft up the ingots. How much blood have we got? 
We got 60 blood. Okay. All right, look, I'm going to craft some of this stuff up. We'll see how far it stretches out. And I'll see if I can get some extra darts because I get the feeling we might need it especially for some of these bigger teams. While we do wait for that, though, I do want to show you this. Um, have a look at this, right? So I was playing around with this to find alpha dodos. Look at this. Oh, I deleted it. But um, dodos actually, like, move around now. Well, not dodos, sorry. But you're, the targets that you're tracking, I guess maybe just the ones that are kind of local to you, because it looks like all the other ones around the map are pretty stationary. But they move on the on the thing here. I've never seen this. I, I don't know if this is a new feature or what, but that's so cool. I don't think this was ever a thing. I love it. That's fantastic. Um, and I can then click it. It's over there. And then when I knock it out, it changes color to like signify that, you know, you've kind of knocked it out, I suppose. It's fantastic. It's really, really cool. Um, yeah, I wanted to share that with you because it was really, really, <laughs> this is cool. Well, what do you want me to say about it? Now, let's get one more of these. That's enough to get us seven darts. It's going to double our dartage, which is, is perfect. Um, we're going to save the rest of that blood because I need to cook it in a forge. But I don't know what I've done with my forge. Where is my forge? There it is. All right, I'm going to place this over here. Probably find a better location for it, but it'll do. It'll do. All right. Um, I don't know how much we need. I can't remember. Let's get some wood in here as well. And we'll light this baby up. Okay. So for those darts, just reminds me, we needed, oh, we only need like seven ingots. Oh, we're fine. We got this in the bag. We got more than enough. All right, bam, bam. Darts. We got everything we need. For seven extra darts. Now that, I'm pretty certain, should be enough to do some demolition. There's only one way to find out though. And it is now time to do so. It's time for us to go and locate a volcanic beast. Now. Whiplash, come on with me, friend. Um, and I guess, should I like, should should I search for this? Like, actually, hello. What do you need again to be tamed up? I can't remember how how expensive these guys were. Um, oh, and it, the shrine. What did I do with my shrine? The reason I'm looking into this: a dinosaur egg, fiber, medjo berries, and water. The reason I'm thinking about that is because you can fire darts from the back of them. And it means we can just kind of fly around and do our thing. And I feel like that would be really, really helpful. Um, and like, ah, dude, do we do that? I'll see. I'll see how things go. We'll see what we come across. We'll see what elementals are out there. This is a hydro. Wow. 13 kibble. Oh, snap. Our kibble might not go as far as I was hoping for it to go. Um, that's, yeah, that might be an issue, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We're not going to get too down about it. Five kibble for one of these guys, though. Did you try to tame that? Dude, that's, like, just for its eggs. I said we need hydro eggs. Like, just for the eggs alone, not a terrible idea. Maybe what we should do, though. Let's have a look at what's actually out there. Hydro, dude, there's actually a few. Wow, there's a lot of different hydro. Hydro trilobites? Yo, okay. They they will be cheap to tame, you would think. There's a few of them around. Um, dude, there's a lot of stuff here. Baryonyx. There's one. One single one over there. That thing would demolish, I'm sure. A um, lot, of, lot of water dinosaurs, I guess, kind of makes sense. What about volcanic? Ah, uh, yes. The water update. There are a lot of water types. Oh, my goodness. Uh, we know that there's the volcanic raptor, of course. There are a lot of those around. Volcanic spino is what I'm thinking of. There's a nice high level one, like pretty close to us. Uh, and then there is the Tapajara, which is the other one I'm kind of considering, which is over there as well, but it's only a level 100. And then we have electric. Now, what do we got? Um, electric, an electric Allosaurus. They're all the way up top. They're pretty low level, so it's probably worth ignoring those. Diabez, decent level one over there. Um, I'm trying to like just skip past any of the the sea creatures i don't plan to go into the water today we've got the electric saber tooths we've got thylacolios uh which are all pretty sweet oh my goodness imagine an electric squid that thing would annihilate guys i think i think i think it's pretty self-explanatory pretty i don't even think it's a competition you know what we're going for it's gonna be the volcanic spino 
And the best part is we are really close to it as well. Uh, the big concern is going to be, though, whether we have enough kibble for it. And that's the part I'm bracing for bad news. I don't know. I don't know how much kibble this thing requires. I know we ran into it last episode, but I can't for the life of me remember what the answer was. Is it this one? That's a level. That's just a regular spine, eh? Obviously. This guy. Hello. 13 kibble. How much have I got? Because I have forgotten. Um, it's close, though, isn't it? Oh, no. <laughs> one short. <laughs> We're one short. Are you kidding me? Uh, 300,000 torpor, too. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if we've got what it takes. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. All right. Look. Uh, I am going to... Okay. All right. All right. Let me... Let me have a look here, okay? The headshots matter against one of these guys. I just want to see how much torpor we deal off a single dart. And then we'll... We'll see what happens next. Oh, I miss. I miss. I cannot afford to be missing. Oh, that is not enough. That is not enough. 5,000. Can you hit me? Please don't be able to hit me. Oh, that is way too close. I forgot he can stand up as well. All right, headshots. Do they count? Do they do anything? I don't think they do. But about 5,000 torpor per shot. Which means we're going to need 20, about 60 darts. 60 darts. Have we bitten off more than we can chew here? Because something tells me we may have. Um, 60 darts. I don't have 60 darts. The kibble is not even the problem here anymore. It's the darts. So I either need to go and kill... A lot of mythic dinosaurs slash elemental dinosaurs. We could even do that. Because. Um. Wait, what's better? What, what's better? What's better? What's better here? Let's have a look. Oh, I wonder we get these, these bolts over here. Maybe we have to do those instead. Um. Yeah, these are better than elemental. These are 25x. Those are only 12x. And that's the best we can get our hands on. All oh, right, so we'd have to kill mythics, which isn't the end of the world. There's actually a lot of easy mythics to kill out there. Um, how much blood have I got left over? We got five blood left over. That's not enough for 60 darts. There is another option though. I have myself this, the upgrade station. I may be able to upgrade my long neck rifle to potentially deal some extra torpidity. And I'm going to try and do exactly that. So, get in there. What are we going to need? 20 wood. Wait, that is a very cheap. Wait, what? Okay, I haven't used this mod in this... I haven't used this mod in ASA yet. This is the first time ever doing this. 95 more metal to upgrade the long neck rifle. Okay, I got metal. I got metal. Pull it all across. Bam. Bam. What else am I going to need? Hide. Okay. Give me that hide as well then. Should have plenty of that too. Okay. So, if all goes according to plan, not bad. Uh, item is now 5.67% upgraded. Oh, okay. This works a little bit different then. Okay. If I want to go again. All right. Oh, that was a terrible upgrade. Um, now it's 10% upgraded. Can I go one more round? To Wait, what? It stayed... Ooh, okay. We're out of metal now, though, aren't we? But we... Interesting. It stayed apprentice. This works completely different to what I'm used to. And now I need another 260 metal if I want to take this up any further. We got no more metal ingots, and I got no scrap metal ingots. So our options are either to go collect more metal, or we just settle for this, which now deals double torpidity. So it's going to give... 10,000 torpor a dart, which means now we really only need 30 darts. Okay. That I can probably work with. Um, all right. The only like real defining factor here that's stopping us is getting the mythic blood that we need for these mythic tranks. 
and we don't have a like many options around us but there are some easy ones well what i assume would be easy ones at least there's some mythic gerbils nearby and maybe they would be a good like maybe that would be a good thing to kind of target i got my beta theory over here so i think it just makes a lot of sense to go and try and target some of these things so here is the one closest to us they only got 21,000 health there's another one down there wait hold on there's something down there oh triceratops 140,000 health all right that's a little bit tougher but good to know anyways uh what i'm thinking oh i'm just gonna teleport my my guy up here that's what i'm gonna do wait a second there is a better way to do this this is another one of those firsts and i've never tested this out before but i'm pretty sure i can craft up this dino tracker i think i can place it on my guy here use it and now this is if this works i should be able to pop on over here and go no no that's not what i'm trying to do okay beta therizinosaur i can teleport him to me that's exactly what i want to be able to do so now i head back over here as fast as i can i should probably should have grabbed whiplash instead but it is what it is also reminder there's some bb dams down there that i need to go and raid we can pop up here dismount bring my friend over and then fingers crossed i wasn't meant to go down there but sure thing why not oh gosh full damage is gonna kill me it's all right jebel is on the run come back over here buddy ain't done with you yet yeah we got this in the bag all right fingers crossed this guy gives us an absolute truckload of blood because if he does we may very well be able to make this happen but it all rides on taking down a few a few mythic gerboas get your booty back over here where do you think you're going all right there we go i'm gonna harvest him with i don't know if it actually matters to be honest 50 blood that's i mean it's not enough but it's a good start and while i'm here let's grab some cement and paste off of these things why not back on our pteranodon and you know what i'll stop for a quick sip of water and we'll go get another jerboa okay so oh gosh oh gosh oh gosh we get here oh it's one of these orcs again stinking orcs and you're gonna go down as well i'm afraid sorry i know we are one of the same kind but too bad and my little jerboic friend oh my goodness this thing has 300,000 health um yeah i don't think this one's gonna work out <laughs> uh all right we're gonna pass on that one there i didn't realize how highly they scale that is nuts yeah that is uh that is way too high oh much better that is what i'm talking about <laughs> a level one i think that's what these guys are meant to be i don't actually know all of a sudden but uh either ways uh oh dude we get so much blood doing it like that 108 to be exact we got experience potions too dude wait what is... wait what is this guy got on him where did you get all this stuff this must be from another mod interesting though interesting uh well in good news that might be enough to get us everything that we need so i'm gonna get my guys back home and uh, i'm gonna craft this stuff up and see how many dust we can get fingers crossed Ooh, we just got attacked by a volcanic raptor right as we teleported are you good dude this guy's got oh my goodness <laughs> Oh my goodness, how's that for a way to die? Uh, I, my guys are going to like rescue me for some reason. He's not, he's not even here guys. Please don't run over to the green obelisk. Like it looks like you're about to. You don't need to defend me. Where did everybody just run to though? Guys, 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 guys. No, 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 no. Yes, I know, I just got attacked. You don't, what are you doing? No, 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 no. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm still charging. Uh, Theri over here. Oh my goodness, these guys are on a mission to defend me. Oh wow, okay, I've never seen that happen before. Getting attacked right as you teleport and then everybody just instantly goes aggressive. 
Uh, this piranha's in the water as well, just to add to everything. Ugh. All right. It's fine. It's fine. They're all bound to follow me back home now, which I hope they do. And they start laying me eggs because that's what I need them to do right this second. But, oh. Let me get my stuff back. I can't believe I died in my own base like that. That's nuts. But 160 blood. Let's go and use... Let's get 40. 40 narcotics. That is going to get us 20 darts, I believe. And then we're also going to need 20 over here as well all right and i think that's it that's the best we can do 29 let's hope it's enough i have no idea if it's going to be or not uh hey wandering dodo's back nice uh, but are you kidding me guys where's me alpha eggs i need one more kibble out of yours that's that's unfortunate uh we are still one kibble short i need only, i only need one egg i need one egg all right get laying guys get laying this is your one and only warning i'm gonna go knock this thing out and by the time i'm done you better have that egg ready for me so if i were smart what i would be doing right this second is trapping this guy but i'm not smart so instead we're just gonna shoot it and we're gonna see what happens all right that's good to see that's good to see he's gonna take exactly 30 darts to knock this thing out maybe with a oh i'm so glad that hit his tail maybe with a little bit to spare i should totally trap you is this is this gonna be a big old mistake right here or what did i just waste three darts he's gonna come back right <laughs> i think i need to trap it um he's gonna come back that's what they do he's just trying to bait me that's football's gonna drop all right i'll play i'll play this game i'm so dead oh my goodness <laughs> okay we might be okay we might be okay <laughs> that was too close that was so dumb by me but we're okay we seem to be all right he's gonna run away again though i can't see him oh come on i'm like so within reach i'm so within reach if you can't hit me that's more a you problem than a me problem my dude all right it's happening i missed a dart oh no that's probably one of like three that i can actually afford to do that with but we've got him to about that's gonna get him to about 90 maybe 95 if we're lucky yeah 96 okay stop moving so quickly i just missed again all right we totally should have trapped him i've uh completely i've I, i've made a horrible misjudgment he's a third of the way down and i'm a third of the way through my arrows 110 not bad <laughs> this is such a disaster i can't even see what i'm doing and we are like in the most just unsafe place in the world we are within reach of a volcanic spino if i get this done without dying i'm gonna be completely and utterly shocked there's just no way oh he moved as i fired that one there off but i'm like certainly within reach of him Okay, I swear I just hit him, but apparently not. 160,000. He can hit me. Oh, he can hit me. He can totally hit me, and I don't know how he isn't. But as long as he thinks he can hit me, like he is right now, I don't think he's going to move. He's going to stay right where he is. And that's right what I want. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Don't, 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 don't. Run, don't run, don't run. Just stay where you are, stay where you are. Come back, come back. Come on. You're gonna be a pest here aren't you all right i think i might need to like i might need to just chase to get the uh! of all things to die to are you kidding me right now an alpha dilo oh my goodness <laughs> i 
I didn't even know it was there. Uh, all right, that's good. This is good. This is going, actually, I mean, reasonably well. But this is where it would completely pay off to have. Um, oh, I can get my stuff back. This is where it would pay off. Oh, yep, I get you. To have that sand dragon. Because it means I could just fly. I could chase it like in the air and just do my thing as I need to do it. But, you know, it's too late now. We've uh, we've gone this far. No turning back now. All right, there he is. Just gonna fire that first shot off. He's angry. Beautiful. Come over here, mate. There we go. Okay. All right, lovely, lovely, lovely. Don't go too far. Got him again. Okay, that's three on him. And I got six shots left. For whatever reason, he's moving really slow. I need to hit him with every one of these shots. By the way, I also have no armor on. I think he's, I think he's fleeing, which is good for me because he's doing it very slowly. That one there was a lucky shot. I thought we'd missed that one. All right, all right, all right. I need like two more hits. And I think we've got this in the bag. We do need to be weary of our surroundings though. Be very cautious. He's looking a little speedier because he touched water. There's also a demonic dialo over there just to make matters that tiny little bit worse. All right, if I can like flee him in that direction, that'd be great. But now it's all about positioning and placement. I need to get him in an ideal situation while also not getting hit by a demonic dialo, for example. That would be amazing to just not allow that to happen. Um... That's a miss, right? Oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. That might be it. That might be it. I've got two darts left. And he is on his last legs. Yes, he's down. He's down. Just like that, he's down. Oh, we actually did it. Okay. All right. Fantastic. Okay. Now, we now like, the, the, real, the real fun starts. Not the real fun, but the real challenge. I got to keep him alive long enough get all that kibble into him let's just hope we've got that egg waiting at home for us eh and we do <laughs> yes yes oh my goodness what a relief that is just perfect all right, let me get my armor back on. Not that it's going to protect me from much. We've got the perfect amount of kibble, though. Um, I know I've got some tame helpers. Yeah, I guess I'll just take that one there with me. I was going to say, I don't know where they are, but sure enough, there it was. Let's go and do this thing. I'm not wasting any time at all. Uh, I believe it is against all odds that we've actually managed to get this far. And I'm not about to go and risk throwing it away. I'm not going to sleep on this. We are not wasting any time. Uh, I just teleported all our dinos over here. That is not good. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Come here, my dudes. Uh, oh my goodness. This is bad. Everybody go home. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, okay. That could have gone horribly wrong if we teleported them onto anything aggressive, which by the way, half the tracks are now aggressive. And whatever that is, is aggressive too. There's your kibble. Eat it up. I'm out of here. Tame up, please, right this second. I do not trust some skeletonized T-Rex living right there. There's demonic dialers. These alphas are aggressive now as well. But I think we've got everything sorted as we need. And we are about to have our hands on an incredibly high level. <laughs> level 869 volcanic spino. Oh my goodness, we did it. <laughs> oh, that is just perfect. That is just perfect. Get out of here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. No time to waste. There is this. Oh, there were like three demonic dialos right on our table there. Don't know if you saw that. Also, what is going on? No, don't attack the wandering dodo. What are you doing, guys? All right. He'll chill. He'll chill. He'll chill. Oh, guys. 
on that note, I'm going to end this one right here. Tomorrow, next episode, whenever it is, we're going to take this guy for a test drive and see what he's made of. And, uh, well, now that we've got this, we may very well get our hands on some volcanic eggs very, very soon. But thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. See. Bye. For now.